Mathematica Online's sophisticated graphics capabilities make it easy for you to create, combine, and customize 2D and 3D graphics, even if you don't have any prior experience with Mathematica Online. So to begin, let's make a new section cell and call this one Basic Graphics so that we have some area reserved to work with graphics. We'll create our first graphic in this section by using the freeform input. So that way, if you don't remember the specific commands we've used thus far, it's no problem because we can have the freeform input take care of that for us. So now let's. Uh, so now we've created a freeform input cell uh, using the equal sign. Let's type graph of sine of x over x and press shift enter. As before, Mathematica Online interprets what we mean and we get the result of the calculation back. Let's do another one, and this time let's create something in 3D. We create another freeform input cell, and this time let's try asking it to visualize sine of x times y. We hit shift enter again to evaluate, and we see the result. Now any 3D graphic in Mathematica Online can be rotated by clicking and dragging. You can also zoom in and out by holding down the control or command key while dragging. You can also hold down the shift key and then click and drag, which will pan the image around its cell. You can also graph multiple functions on the same set of axes. So let's now take a look at how to do that next. First, we'll create a new subsection and call it Creating Multiple Graphics and then arrow down to start a new input cell. We'll use the freeform input to ask for plot sine of x and sine of x over x to see what that looks like. So let's try to reproduce this with the Wolfram language instead. So instead of giving the plot command a single expression to graph, we can give it a list of expressions by putting them inside curly braces. Remember, curly braces denote lists and ranges. And that was one of the cardinal rules of the Wolfram language we discussed a few videos ago. So let's enter plot as the function, then create a list using curly braces of the two expressions we want to plot, sine of x and sine of x over x. And then let's make x go from negative 8 to 8. We can see that by default, Mathematica Online colors the plots differently so that we can tell them apart. But we can go even further by using an option to tell Mathematica Online to make a legend for us. Let's put the cursor between the right curly brace and the right square bracket. We do that because the cursor is now at the very end of the required syntax for the plot command and we can now start adding in options, which is one way you can customize a result in Mathematica Online. I happen to know the name of the one option is Plot Legends. So let's put a comma and then start typing in uh, Plot Legends. As we do that, Mathematica Online's auto-completion shows us that, indeed, Plot Legends is an available option. Now we give the option a value. We start by typing a dash, and then the greater than symbol, and we do that, we see that Mathematica Online formats it into a nice arrow. Next, we type expressions, which is one of the possible option values for plot legend. When we evaluate, we'll see that our plot has a nice legend, and it automatically labels the legend using the expressions that we are plotting. Pretty slick and very easy to do. Let's look at another way of adding options, which is by using the suggestions bar. We'll start by creating a brand new plot, and since we've gotten used to the syntax for the plot command, let's type that in directly. So we'll put in plot of sine of x, where x goes from 0 to 10. Now let's show the suggestions bar by clicking the arrow icon, and we can see some different choices we have available. Let's click Add Fill to see what that does. We can see the Mathematica Online adds filling, and it does so by adding in the option of filling goes to automatic. We can change automatic to things like bottom or top to get different fillings. If you are curious about all the possible ways to use filling, you can check the documentation to see more examples. 
Now let's add a label to our plot. We add another option by putting in a comma, then plot label, and then typing the hyphen and greater than symbol to make the arrow, and now we give it a label by using quotation marks and typing this is my plot. When we evaluate, we will now have a labeled version of the plot. There are many, many different options available for Mathematica Online commands, including lots of options for customizing the results you get when creating graphics. So again, a good way to see what is available and how to apply those options is to go to the documentation, do a search, and then look at the options section. Now that we have some experience with creating and customizing graphics by using options in the suggestions bar, let's go a step further by learning how to make our graphics interactive. In the next video, we'll learn how to take anything, a calculation, a graphic, a piece of text, and turn it into an interactive model that you can use to explore and explain all kinds of concepts.